I used to be active, independent, and constantly on my feet. But over time, I started to feel pain in my right knee. The pain was so severe that it affected my sleep. I had to rely on painkillers daily. I thought I had to live with this pain for the rest of my life, until I heard about knee replacement surgery. Welcome to this video, which will help you along the journey of your knee replacement surgery. Knee replacement is an operation that involves replacing a damaged, worn-out knee with an artificial joint. There are two main types of surgery. Total knee replacement is where the whole surface of your knee joint is replaced with an artificial implant. A partial knee replacement replaces just one damaged part of your knee joint. Knee replacement is one of the most successful surgeries carried out for knee arthritis. It aims to relieve pain and regain your mobility. Like all types of surgery, it does carry certain anaesthetic and surgical risks. While the risks are low, it is important for you to know what they are, and we will discuss these with you during the consultation. We will perform a full medical assessment and discuss all the risks and benefits with you. We want you to feel safe and secure, and you will have a reliable team of professionals to help you throughout your entire journey. However, it is important to remember that you have an important role to play in the overall success of the operation. After a thorough consultation and assessment with my doctor, I decided to give myself another shot at life. I was briefed separately for more information about the surgery. I was informed that I should be able to go back to my own home within two to three days of surgery. A dedicated team member will put together a customised program based on my individual health and social needs. It was finally the day that I would undergo knee replacement surgery. I was treated by my doctor on the day of surgery and he went through a final assessment prior to the operation. He informed me that the surgery would take about two to three hours. I also met with an anaesthetist to discuss the various anaesthesia options. She shared that I can either opt for general anaesthesia, where I would be asleep throughout the surgery, or spinal anaesthesia, where I would be numb below the waist. I was mentally prepared to expect some pain after surgery but pain relief options would be available, including medication and a local anaesthetic injection to numb the nerves to my knee. I was confident that I had a team of professionals ready to support every step of the way in this journey. When you recover from surgery, you will be transferred to a ward. Calf pumps will be applied on your legs to prevent blood clots. A team of nurses will continue to monitor you closely in the ward. Once you're comfortable in bed and your pain is under control, you will be assisted out of bed to help with your mobility needs. Some patients may feel slightly nauseous, but we will help you with medications for this. Remember to take your time when getting up from bed as you're most prone to falls during the first few hours after surgery. You will be in hospital for about two to three days, but recovery can vary depending on individual circumstances. Upon discharge, we will advise you on the ways of looking after yourself at home. You may need the assistance of a walking aid, either a walking frame or a walking stick during the first few weeks of your recovery. Most people stop using walking aids at four to six weeks after surgery. Full recovery can take up to six months as the scar tissue heals 
and your muscles are strengthened through exercises. Rehab began after surgery. I was greeted by my physiotherapist, who showed me how to get in and out of bed. She walked me through a series of exercises to improve my movement and strength in the knee. The physiotherapist also taught me a safe method to negotiate stairs and to regain my normal walking ability. Being active is an important part of recovery because it prevents undesirable blood clots. I was also reviewed by the occupational therapist who taught me the best way to dress, bathe and how to use the toilet effectively. The occupational therapist also advised me on several modifications to make my home safe upon discharge. Following these regimes closely will help to ensure that I can return to my daily activities as soon as possible. By the time I was ready to go home, I felt safe and was able to bend my knee, bathe and dress on my own. I diligently did all the exercises advised by my physiotherapist and I'm sure that had made a tremendous impact on my overall recovery. I was grateful to have family members to help around the house for a week or two upon discharge from the hospital. I can feel my knee getting stronger and better as days go by. The knee replacement surgery has changed my life. I'm glad to have made that right decision to embark on this journey. It's a walking difficulty, the kneecap pain. When I walk, go up the stair and go down the stair. So as I work, I feel very discomfort. So then I was thinking that there's no choice. The only thing is to come for operation. Taking the medicine, painkillers, it won't help. I will advise them it's better for you to go for operation rather than do the pain. You see, a sharp pain better than a long pain.